Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to upgrade the memory in a 2018 Mac Mini. We've already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mac Mini, and are working on a static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mac Mini over and turn it so that the ports are facing you. The bottom cover is held in by three posts. Use your nylon pry tool to lift up on the foot until one of the connectors pops free. Then work your way around. Underneath is a metal grate held in by six Torx T6 security screws that need to be removed. Three of them are the posts the bottom cover attached to. The other three are smaller and flush fitting. Once all six screws are removed, you can move the grate to the side, but be careful because it's held in place by the airport antenna cable which is attached to the logic board and reinforced with a screw. You'll need to remove this Torx T6 screw. and then disconnect the button connector holding the cable in. You can now set the grate aside. The next thing we need to do is remove the fan. There are four Torx T6 screws holding it in that need to be loosened. The two horizontal screws can be left in their grommets to make it easier to replace the fan later. Move the fan back slightly to expose the fan cable. You can disconnect this by gently lifting it from the socket from the cable side. You can then set the fan aside. There are two more cables to disconnect. First is the logic board power cable. This should come straight out of its socket. Next, we want to disconnect this smaller cable near the front. It lifts out of its socket much like the fan connector did. The last thing to do before removing the logic board is to remove these two Torx T10 screws. To remove the logic board, it's easiest to turn the Mac Mini around and press against the edge of the heatsink to push the logic board out of the back of the Mini. Once you get past the side clips, you can pull the logic board the rest of the way out. The memory modules are located underneath this metal grate which is held in by these four Torx T5 screws which we'll need to remove. Once that's done, you can slide the grate up at an angle to remove it and set it aside. While it is optional to do this, removing the rubber covers from the memory retainer clips makes it easier to remove and replace the memory modules. All you need to do is peel back the rubber slightly and slide it off the retainer clips. Then, to remove the modules themselves, first press outward on the retainer bars until the modules pop up. Then, lift the modules up and out of the slots and set them aside. The memory modules have a notch that line up with a pin in the memory slot. Position the modules so that the two line up, then press it into the slot.
Then, press down on the module to lock it into place. Repeat the process for the top module. Replace the rubber covers on the memory retainer clips by sliding the small tabs on the cover into the holes in the tops of the retainer clips. If you have both tabs in their appropriate slots, it should feel fairly secure. Repeat the process on the other side. Once both sides are on, you should be able to slide the metal cage back into place. If you can't, you may need to double check the positioning of the rubber covers. Once the cage is in place, you can secure it with its four Torx T5 screws. You can now slide the logic board back into the Mac Mini, making sure not to trap any cables underneath. To get the last inch or so in, you'll need to push in on the clasps located on both sides of the backplate as you push the board the rest of the way in until it snaps into place. Secure the board in place using the two Torx T10 screws. You can then reconnect the two cables we detached earlier. The front cable simply lines up with its socket and then can be pushed down until it lays flat. The power cable needs to line up as vertically as you can so as not to potentially bend any pins. Then push the connector straight down into place. Next, align the fan connector with its socket and press it into place. You can now set the fan into position and secure it with its four Torx T6 screws. Next, we need to reconnect the airport antenna cable to its connector on the logic board and secure it. Line up the antenna connector in its socket and press them until they snap together. Then, use the Torx T6 screw to attach the retainer plate to the logic board. We can now move the top grate back into position and secure it into place using the three large and three small Torx T6 security screws. Begin with the small screws starting next to the airport antenna cover and then every other hole around. Then put the thicker posts in the remaining holes. To replace the bottom cover, line up the holes in the cover with the posts on the mini and press them together until they snap into place. You may now flip your Mac Mini over, hook it up, and turn it on.